Hello and welcome back everyone. This is going to be a short one, but I hope you enjoy. We start out in a town and it is baking. So much so that we even see car tires melting. We then see a father and his kid getting water from a fire hydrant. Not getting much, but they at least seem happy about it. Once they get ready to go, they turn around and see a mountain of a man that I am just going to call Bulk. I did not catch this on my first viewing, but we see him drop a guy once he gets to them. The father does the smart thing and gives the water to him, but of course the kid, probably not understanding what kind of a danger he is, goes and hits him. Luckily for them, he turns around and trips on a crack, busting open his mask. The father just wants to leave, but the kid is just like, what about the water, and takes it. Bulk wakes up and realizes his mask is cracked, but still chases after the kid. I am just thinking his first priority should be fixing his mask, not the water. As he is panicking going after the kid, the father ends up bashing him over the head with his wrench. And finally after that, him and his kid are able to safely drink the water that they collected. Ending the film. This was a neat little short with an interesting setting being an overheating earth whose people have to wear heat resistant suits and a basic but sweet story. It seems to be post apocalyptic which makes sense and it must have been this way for a while since their suits even have drinking holes to safely drink water that they collect. And it seems that they're only surviving off of the few remnants of water left. But at least there is some light left with a father and his child sitting peacefully together enjoying some water. The film was made by Jacob Sterline, who also made a short film called There's a Man in the Woods that I also plan to review, but not for a while. So look forward to that whenever I choose to get that out. I hope you all enjoyed this quick review. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff from me. And that's about it, so I will see you guys later. Bye guys.